Hi, this is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today I'll show you how to use Speciate to calculate mineral saturation indices and gas fugacities. I've taken a standard water analysis and used it to add a number of components to the basis pane. I specified bulk constraints or total concentrations for most of these components except for the hydrogen and oxygen, which we have special electrodes or probes that measure pH and free oxygen concentration. If we didn't have these, we might specify equilibrium with oxygen gas, for instance. Uh, say I'm not too um, confident in my analyses for aluminum or iron, we could assume equilibrium with minerals observed in our site, say kaolinite. I'll specify a small mass or small volume of that mineral. And I can do the same thing for hematite. I'll set the temperature of our fluid, 25 degrees Celsius, and I'll run our analysis. I can view the printed results, scroll down past the list of aqueous species to find our list of saturation indices. Uh, speciate will calculate the saturation state of all minerals that can form from the currently loaded basis set. We have a few minerals that are super saturated. Uh, indicated by this uh, slash saturated symbol. Uh, kaolinite and hematite, the two minerals that we specified to be in equilibrium with our system, uh, are saturated. They have a uh, saturation index of zero. And then a number of minerals that are undersaturated in our fluid. I'll go ahead and scroll past these to where uh, the fugacities of various gases are calculated. These correspond roughly to partial pressure in ATNs. So, thanks for watching.